Hey y'all, Dustin Schaefer here, The Keto Pro, and we're gonna talk about the five steps, the five tips to start keto, the preparation. How do you get yourself set up to have long-term success um, on your keto journey? And I'm gonna teach this to you as if I was teaching it to my mom. Somebody that's been through the ringer, been doing diets her whole life, that has had ups and downs, that's overwhelmed, that doesn't know what, what she doesn't know. And this way that you can have the bare bones, the simplicity of getting results quickly, um, but more importantly, how do you actually learn this strategy so that you can change your life forever? Because at the end of the day, you know, if you don't commit to a, and create your own lifestyle, it's not going to maintain. You're going to fall back. And so I want to teach you all those strategies how not to do that. So here we go. You ready for the five tips? Now, I promise you, when you master these and you get these set up and you start going in the right direction, the benefits of keto are energy, sustained energy, meaning that you don't crash. You get, actually go through your day and you feel good. Mental clarity, mood and focus is a huge cognitive benefit. Yes, if a lot of people come for fat loss. That's not why I do it. It's not why I recommend it. It is a byproduct and a great tool. So fat loss is a great thing. And also performance. Um, work with athletes all around the world and performance is a really big thing. But guess what? My mom at 70 needs to perform as well as the you know the, the Tour de France riders, as well as the Olympic athletes, as well as so many of the athletes that we're working with. So here we go. The first phase, first week of keto, I want you to write down these five things. And pretty really important, write these five things down. Number one, I have them in my little cheat sheet here, awareness. So number one, you gotta, you gotta create awareness. Awareness of where carbs are coming from. Number two, you gotta clean out the closet. You gotta clean your environment up. Number three, you have to prepare, okay? Number four, you need support. And number five, if you don't know why you're doing this, you're more likely to quit than, it, than to stick to it. Okay, so those are the five things that I'm gonna I'll walk you through really quickly. So what are we creating awareness from? So the ketogenic diet or a keto-friendly diet, I'm gonna give you kind of like three phases to this especially as you go through the whole program. The, the ketogenic diet, I always want people to start out with less than 20 net carbs a day. Um, if you're gonna count, uh, count your fiber, we can go up to 40, but let's just say we're gonna take that part out. So 20 net carbs a day. And what does that look like? Is that you're going to add, like when you eat something, you got how many carbs are in that? And if it has, let's say, 10 grams of carbs and then five grams of uh, fiber, you're gonna subtract the fiber out. And so that's five carbs for the day. And that means you only have 15 more for the rest of the entire day. So this is the awareness I want you to start to create is how many carbs are in things. Now here's a few things that you can subtract out. You can subtract out things like stevia. You can subtract things like monk fruit, uh, yithral, even xylitol, I'll give that to you. Um, these are sugar alcohols. You might see on your label where it says sugar alcohol. Most cases you can subtract that away from your overall carbohydrates and of course fiber. So we can get technical and say why some of those may have an impact on you, but we're not going to at this moment. Okay, so that's number one. You got to get awareness. So I want you to go in and you're going to just start having the awareness of what you're going to have to accomplish. I don't want you to start increasing your fat intake. I do not want you to start increasing your protein intake. I don't want you to start adding anything new into your lifestyle. You have to, it's all about, re, for, phase one is about cutting those carbs down. Because if, if you don't do that well, all those other things can sabotage you. So the second part of that, that's number one, awareness. Number two is you gotta go clean out your closet. You gotta get rid of the things in your environment that are gonna be temptations to you. Oh, I'm just gonna have a little bite of this. I'm just gonna have a couple chips. You gotta get them out. Halloween candy still around, get it out. So I want you to go into your refrigerator, I want you to go into your pantry and literally start chucking things. Go give it to your friend that you don't like very much and get them fat. Like, all right, come on. Uh, so you're gonna clean out the pantry. All right, that's number two. Number three, you gotta prepare, all right? So if you are a busy person, I, I've been busy my whole life. If you're a busy person, you gotta prepare. You gotta prepare for, you know, I'm on the road. What's restaurants I can go to? You gotta prepare for when I go to the grocery store. Okay, I, a rotisserie chicken and some steamed broccoli. And we're gonna give you more guidance on phase two here. Um, but phase one, it's really important if you wanna have long-term success is that you set the foundation right now. It's keto simple. You're looking at proteins, don't be afraid of fat, and going low carb vegetables. That's really keto. That's the simplicity of it all. I didn't say fruit, I said vegetables. Now we'll get to the rest of it later. Support. Do you have anybody in your family supporting you? Let your family know what you're doing. Don't tell them you're doing a diet. Tell them you're making better health choices. Now that's a video in itself, but it's important. So get support, get buy-in from people around you. And number five, and probably the most important, why are you doing this? It's not to get skinny. It's something deeper than that. Find out the why you're more likely, if your reason why isn't bigger than the desire of a piece of pizza, you're, the pizza will always win. So for me, why I do what I do on a daily basis is because I have little kids that I wanna spend time with in my life. When I'm 65 and 70, I wanna go out and be able to be active with them and travel with them and enjoy their life. I don't wanna be broken down, overweight, sick, and unhealthy. 
pretty powerful why so that when I'm making a decision of something that maybe isn't suitable for me and my health, it's easier for me to lean away from it because that thought of enjoying my time with my kids is rewarding to me and that reward keeps me strong. So why are you doing this? Write that down. It'll work really, really well, y'all. So, hey, take these five te- steps, fake these five tips, implement them right now. This is week one. Give yourself some time. Don't rush and get ready for week two because week two, I'm going to give you the nuts and bolts of what to start to eat, how to eat it, and ways to make adjustments throughout your journey. And remember, it takes six weeks to create keto adaptation. So give yourself time. Cheers, y'all. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. For the next video of the series, check out right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we send out the next video, you get notified, and you can check out the latest on the keto journey. Cheers, y'all.